Hello and thank you for watching. This video will examine in detail the features and benefits of the Shotoku TE12 head as well as illustrate the correct way to achieve perfect balance. The TE12 has earned a reputation as a robust workhorse of the industry thanks to its simple, low maintenance design and lightweight construction, making it popular in outdoor broadcast applications such as live sports and other events where large field lenses are used. The TE-12 achieves this using a unique roller and cam system which holds the kit center of gravity height constant to achieve perfect balance. This mechanism eliminates the need for complicated counterbalance springs, keeping both the weight and manufacturing cost down. The benefit of this simple system is an incredible max payload to weight ratio and high value for money performance. Kit weighing up to 90 kilos or nearly 200 pounds that's the biggest box lens you can find, plus a camera, viewfinder, demands, accessories, cables, and anything else you need, perfectly and effortlessly balanced on an easy to carry 12.3 kilogram head. Absolutely incredible. And another benefit over spring mechanisms is that the balance is achieved regardless of the payload. So basically the head can balance any payload up to 90 kilograms as long as the payload's center of gravity height is higher than 6 centimeters and lower than 20 centimeters above the platform. Finally, all TE12s are equipped with Viscam, our market-leading continuously adjustable advanced fluid leaf drag mechanism and our unique cam lift mechanism, making the TE12 smoother and easier to use than any earlier cam head from other manufacturers. And speaking of usability, all controls, pan brake, tilt brake, pan drag, tilt drag, and the tilt lock are located at the rear of the head and within close proximity of each other. This makes it easy for the operator to reach, allowing for quick adjustments without ever having to let go of the pan bar. Of course, you could let go of the pan bar if you wanted once it has been balanced. So let's go through how to do that right now. Balancing the TE12 comes down to two easy steps. One, evenly distributing the kit weight above the head, and two, choosing the correct cam plate. Let's evenly distribute the kit weight by first setting up everything just as it will be for the shoot, kind of like what we have right here. Then, release the tilt axis lock while keeping a hand kind of near the pan bar, and you'll feel the weight of the kit either going forward uh, or backwards, tilting the head forward or backwards. Okay, so as you can see, my payload weight is distributed just a little bit too far forward. So to adjust for this, I will lock the tilt axis lock and I'll pull out this little tool right here, which can be found in its integrated storage space in the V-Wedge adapter. Now this tool is used to move the sliding plate forward or backwards. Okay, then we just unlock the tilt axis lock and try again. So when no perceptible tilting force can be felt on the pan bar, kind of like what we've got here, you've successfully distributed the kit weight above the tilt axis. Second, let's choose the right cam. Many people think the heavier the kit, the bigger the cam, which is incorrect. The varying sizes of cams actually correspond to the height of the center of gravity of our kit above the platform. To check if we have the correct cam installed, we release the tilt axis lock go, tilt forward, and then let go, keeping a hand near the pan bar. Now if the head tends to fall away from horizontal, then we need to install larger cam plates. If it tends to fall back towards horizontal, then the opposite is true and the smaller cam plate should be installed. If there is no perceptible tilting force on the pan bar at any angle of tilt, and the head remains in any tilt position to which it is set, which is what we've got right here, right now, then we've chosen the correct cam for our setup and we're ready to shoot. In the next section, I'll show you just how easy it is to change cams. Before I demonstrate how to change cams, let's first understand the many types of cams available. Made of aluminum alloy, there are 15 cams made to suit kits with centers of gravity height between six centimeters and 20 centimeters above the platform. Now remember, Weight has nothing to do with the kind of cam that you use. It's all about the height of the center of gravity. Now, it's also important to note that there are four brake plates, each corresponding to a range of cam sizes. Now, all this means is that when we're going from one range of cams to the next, 
will have to swap out the brake plate to ensure smooth performance. That being said, the TE12 has been designed to take care of the majority of all setups with large field lenses within the 12 to 18 centimeter cam size range using a single brake plate. Now the advantage of this design is that we can swap out our cams with our kit fully loaded onto the platform, making the whole process very straightforward. Today I want to change my cam size from 13 to 16 because, as you'll see in a second, when I unlock the tilt axis lock, my kit tends to fall away from horizontal. Un unlock it, tilt forward, let go, you see it still continues to fall forward. I'll lock it up there again. Cool. So what this means is that I need to swap in a larger cam. Now, if the opposite is true and the head tends to return back to horizontal, we would need to swap in a smaller cam. To do this, the only tool that I need is a single three millimeter L wrench. Let's get started. First, we make sure the tilt axis locks are engaged. Good. Then we float or raise up the cam so they disengage from the cam rollers. This is done by squeezing, lifting, and then pushing down on the cam floating lever located on the opposite side of the head. Great. I can tell my cams are no longer engaged with the rollers because I can spin the rollers freely. Okay, great. Then I remove all four screws holding the cam in place. and then I gently slide the cam out. Finally, I gently fit in the new cam into its place and secure it using the same four screws. and being sure to give everything one last little twist to secure it as well as possible. Then we just do the same thing to the opposite side. Finally, lower the cam so they engage with the cam rollers by lifting up on the cam floating lever and securing it in place. Now unlock the tilt lock and check your balance repeating until you get it just right. And as for our setup today, I knew in advance the 16 centimeter was exactly what I needed. Awesome. Cams come between six centimeters and 20 centimeters, and the 12 to 18 centimeter range covers almost all box lens configurations. So once the correct cam size is determined, which is usually done at the time of order, and if the camera configuration does not change, then there's basically no need to ever change cams or the brake plate in the future. However, if the camera configuration and therefore the cams change significantly, we will need to change our brake plate in order to ensure smooth performance. To learn exactly how that's done, please join me in the second video in the series or contact our offices. And there you have it. If you have any questions about balancing, proper equipment maintenance, or are interested in purchasing a system, please visit our website, shotoku.co.uk, where you can contact us directly or reach out to a local dealer near you.